morning, Andrew. Morning, Lee. Right, here we are on another epic route that you nearly uh, missed out on. Uh, and the reason why you nearly missed out on it, uh, everybody, is because you had a um, bit of an accident uh, a few weeks ago with your eye, didn't you, Andrew? What happened? Bungee strap. Aye. It is in the eye. So a bit of a warning as well. If you ever use bungees, in fact, don't bother using them because they're extremely dangerous and it uh, bounce back in Andrew's eye. And, uh, he's, are you blind in one eye at the minute? I'm blind in one eye. What's in your bags, Andrew? Oh. <laughs> oh, don't ask us that, man. I right. forgot where stuff is now. Yeah, all right. Well, he's got a new uh, handlebar bag, a Lotus one in it. Aye. Uh, brand new Alp kit frame bag. And he's got the Ros wheel seat pack. And we're travelling quite light. Mine's the same kind of thing as I normally take. I think it's even lighter. I haven't even bothered bringing me down jacket this time. Got my frame bag in there with some food, extra little bits and pieces, stove and that in there. I've got some spare clothes and my sleeping mat and at the front. All I've got is just my sleeping bag and bivy bag. We're going to camp Biv somewhere. Bivy bags and sleeping oh. bags, that's it. Aye. Andrew hasn't uh, bivied before, have you? No. Kind of weird, like. Me and Andrew we're in an absolute element because it's a geek lush day. There's hardly anybody out, just a couple of cyclists, dead quiet, and everywhere you look like picture postcard, like gorgeous countryside and that. It's just unbelievable. This is what it's all about. Life becomes very clear when you're doing stuff like this. Look at this rapeseed. Just uh, things on my bike and that, and take me geely off because it's absolutely roast and hot. And we're just uh, on the outskirts of Durham, just to go along the river and that. And Andrew's just picked up a message here about Michelle's ride that she's completed it, and Bernie has, and Karen. So, well done. Just had to buy a water bottle, loads of things going wrong. Lost my water bottle, well, it fell off, smashed my water filter. Um, Lost my cycling computer. Um, tire exploded yesterday. Had to get a new tire. We'll talk about that. Then. <laughs> Andrew, what seems to be the problem? Yes, again, another puncture. He's got brand new tyres, but they're not tubeless. Well, that's just follows me run down lower. I keep telling you, man, it's the best upgrade you can make for your bike. Anyway, it's not a bike ride without uh, Andrew getting a puncture. What time you want your next one? Hi, so it's really nice here. Nice and quiet. Been watching the lap wings over here. Loads of them swooping down. So we're gonna crack on. Next stop is Thorpe Fools. approaching Stockton now just on uh, these smooth cycle paths which we've been on before a little bit of shade here as well to keep it cool uh, but it's been brilliant route really enjoying it see you at the next stop
found this, uh, well, we haven't found it. It was here the last time. <laughs> It's been here for centuries. I but we bypassed it last uh, time. I we bypassed it last time, but Andrew had it in his heart set in coming here and having that ice cold black currant soda laced with rum. Now I'm joking. <laughs> I've got the uh, lemon soda and also a glass of water. Uh, so we haven't got that far now until we're baby spot. a slight different way this time um, didn't know there was a 20% off-road hill which was absolutely gruelling Andrew won't be thanking us for that worth it though for the views spot but unfortunately you don't have people to see anything because it's too dark we're both absolutely knackered we just had this madras uh, pot noodle thing it was one of the best meals i've had we've got the wood bivvy set up not bothering with the top there's no rain there's no wind there's no sound apart from the odd bird here and there it's ultra ultra quiet and peaceful andrew's there uh, texting his wife just to let her know that he's all right are you all right andrew <laughs> you all right eh? ah, he's all right Aye, right, blin he's mad bloody mad yeah what he's been out through amazing scenery had a load of exercise challenged himself but you know it's been a bit of a waste of time he could have just you know drove around and scorching heat and sat in traffic jams and Larding it up and then go to the metro centre. Aye. Anyway, see you in the morning. an hour now, it's about half five, quarter six. Don't feel like if been asleep. Never sleep properly when I'm bivy, but uh, I've had, had some dreams so um but it's been really really peaceful in these woods. You can hear the sounds of all the wildlife and birds is amazing. Falling asleep last night when the eyes adjusted to the dark could see like just thousands of stars and for the first time I seen a, a shooting star which was really amazing and I also heard um, like animals rustling in the bushes around us I don't know if it was a deer or a badger or what but it was, uh, it, was it was really strange but good anyway I'm gonna get up now and uh, have some oats so simple Andrew about to set off for onward second 
day. It's really early in the morning, about, is it about 7 o'clock, Andrew? Something like that? Uh, it's quarter to 8 now. Like. Oh, it's already quarter to 8. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of, you know, bike packing yeah, includes a lot of faffing about, getting your stuff ready and that. So it's a really, really lovely morning. We've got loads of birds in there, cuckoos. Um, and we're going to set off a different way that I did the last time. Planning to go an off road route over Boldby Scar and Hamilton Hills and uh, drop down to uh, a visitor centre, Sutton Bank Visitor Centre. We can get a cup of tea in there. So, what do you think of it so far, Andrew? Ah, it's been good. The arse is a bit sore like, but. Yeah, it's part and parcel of doing this kind of thing, man. Just embrace it. Got a crap night's sleep, like. Ah, I haven't even been asleep. <laughs> See you next stop. was so steep you can't even walk up it never mind ride up it I think uh, we should have brought a, a rope because it was literally that steep I couldn't even video it what was it like Andrew really bad really steepest bad one I've seen. steepest one I so anyway I knew it was going to be steep because we're right at the top of uh, Halbert Hambleton Hills and we're going to go over Boldby Scar and I've never been up here before so I'm uh, hoping it's going to be epic <laughs> How are we feeling, Andrew? Rough. I've had to crack on with the rest of the route on my own. Um, Andrew's had to drop out at Easingwold due to a uh, really severe saddle sore. He couldn't go any further, and I think everybody's got a breaking point. But bearing in mind he hasn't been on his bike for a month. He's blind in one eye at the minute. You know, how much of a hero and commendable is that to even get this far? Do you know what I mean? So, well done, Andrew. Everyone's really impressed, especially me. I know the next time we'll, uh, we'll crack it together at the very end, but, you know, it was great riding with
what's going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! 